Hey everybody, we have come down to the last day here in Rockbridge County, Virginia. It's another beautiful sunny day, early in the morning, which is really cool. Um, it's been getting 90 degrees every day. And uh, you know, Memorial Day is a time when we honor uh, our departed loved ones or people who uh, were, were in our family lineage, uh, people who were important to us, not just family, sometimes friends. We just honor those who have gone before us. And I'm going to have Angie get a little shot through here of some flowers that we put out on some Paxton graves here in Rockbridge County, Virginia. This is Mrs. Margaret Paxton. That's General Paxton's mother. This is Elisha Paxton Sr., the grave uh, of his father. And of course, the general and his wife are buried here, as well as other family members throughout this cemetery. You know, the Bible says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one to another. And I want to encourage you, I spend a lot of time in graveyards. I spend a lot of time researching the Civil War, the Revolutionary War, my family, etc. and so forth. But I want to encourage you today, this Memorial Day, coming up here some few days, I'd like to encourage you to honor the living as you honor the dead. Honor the living. What do I mean by that? as you honor the dead. Well, we come and we bring flowers, but what's wrong with taking that person some flowers while they are alive? Pick up that telephone, call that loved one, call that dear friend, that family member, whatever. Tell them you love them. Tell them you're in their, in their corner, hanging in there with them. Pray for them. Take them out and have some fun on an afternoon. Take, a day, take an afternoon off work and just go out and have some fun with a family member or something. Do something, because the world will know that we are his disciples by the love that we have one to another. It's not by how big of churches and cathedrals we build or how big of Bible schools we build or how many missionaries we send overseas. All of that's important, but the real mark of a believer is that we love one another. Let's read that verse again. It's John 13, 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if you have love one to another and so as i'm standing here the last few hours the last day we're here for the full day today we leave in the morning in rockbridge county a place in virginia that's very important to me personally we go back to a world of the living we go back to the world of those who are in our lives every day and we want to honor them by showing them kindness and showing them love. There is a secret to successful, happy living. Many people are unaware of this secret, but it's quite simple. The people who love deeply, deeply succeed. I wanna say that again. People who love deeply succeed in life. Do you love your job? Do you love your family? Do you love God? Deep love is not easy for us to find or to feel. Many people in our world today love in a shallow way and they lose the respect and the devotion of their families and their friends. Many do not know how to love deeply, yet deep love is exactly what we need in this world the most. Perhaps you're confused about the word love because of the many shades of meaning that it carries. Discovering the true meaning of love can be both a challenge and a commitment. The most challenging call ever issued comes from Jesus who said, A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I have loved you, John 13 and 34. Remember that God loved the world so much that he sent Jesus to forgive our sins. And Jesus loved us so much that he died on the cross for us. The kingdom of God within each of us is a kingdom of love. Not only for those who love us in return, but also for strangers and for enemies. And that's one thing I've learned by studying the lives of these great Civil War, Revolutionary War legends in my mind, heroes to me, is that they had a compassion that they even felt for their enemies at times. Oh, they were brutal in battle. They were determined to win, but they always helped a wounded enemy, 
they cared for their families at times, on and on and on it goes. There's something within each of us that can reach way down and pull that kind of love and compassion out. And that something is the Spirit of God because we're born again. We are followers of Christ. And so I want to encourage you this Memorial Day, as you honor those who have gone before you, those who maybe you remember their smile or their laugh or the way they would inflect themselves when they spoke. Maybe you remember the good times that you had. I hope so. I also encourage you to love the people that are still here with you and show them Christ by your actions, your attitude, and your love as we go forward. If we're going to make it through these nerve-jangling, critical times of fear and chaos that our world is in, we're going to have to learn to love deeply. And I want to encourage you with that as I go off the air this morning. We'll be back a little bit later on with another clip. This is Brother Paxton saying go with God. And he will go with you.